you're not supposed to discriminate against people, certainly not on the basis of their skin color. And yet, here we are in 2024 pretending what it is that the UW is doing as part of its commitment to equity and inclusion is, in fact, equitable and inclusive. They are being sued by an organization called Do No Harm because they have a race-based support directory that's meant to help medical students at UW Medicine unless they're white. White kids, nope, sorry, you're out. This lawsuit is over the UW Medicine's BIPOC Physicians Directory, which is exclusively provided to connect non-white students with non-white physicians to ask questions, get career advice, just network. Now, the lawsuit says, in addition to excluding white students who wish to take advantage of a valuable networking tool, the directory excludes white physicians, even those who would be great resources for medical students of all races. And so do no harm. The reason why they have standing is one of its members is an unidentified doctor. This goes by member A, who happens to also be a UW alum, who happens to be white, thus is ineligible to provide his medical advice and his experience to students merely because he happens to be white. So they're trying to get this to be stopped. Now, UW is proving once again that like so many other liberal institutions, they are less concerned with education and more interested in woke Racial segregation that we're supposed to claim is actual equity. This is blatantly racist. And the irony is insane to me. The very people who scream at the top of their lungs about the importance of inclusivity and dismantling racial barriers. We got to get rid of the institutionalized racism. They're creating that. That's quite literally what they're creating here. This is what we call an earned lawsuit. They earned it. And I hope they pay a steep price for it.